So what's the point of playing this game? Well, playing a game is fun and thinking of strategies keeps our brains working. But there's much more than that. Actually, we use this kind of thinking every day without even realizing. Let us take a step further. The shapes that we've seen were made of houses and trees joined together by lines. But we did not really need houses and trees. All we needed was a set of points joined together by lines. These shapes made of points joined together by lines are very important in mathematics. And mathematicians at university have a name for these shapes. They call them graphs. You may not see this terminology now at school, but you will call these shapes graphs if you go on to study math at university. There is a part of mathematics which studies these graphs. It is called graph theory. Graph theory has many applications to our everyday life, to transportation systems, for example. In fact, we see many examples of graphs every day. For example, a tube map or a map of the railway network. These maps are just made of points joined together by lines. The points represent the stations and the lines represent the connections between two stations. We see and study this kind of graphs every time we look at a tube map and we need to plan a journey between two stations. Sometimes it may happen that when we are halfway, we find out that the station is shut and we need to plan an alternative way. What's the quickest way to get from Old Street to South Kensington? What would happen if Green Park was shut? National Rail must shut down a station for the weekend and no trains may pass through that station while it's shut. Which of the stations would cut off the most stations if it was shut down? These are examples when we use mathematics every day without even realising. People working in designing and improving transportation networks face similar but more challenging questions every day and use this kind of mathematics every day. Now you can have a look on our website where we have exercises on tube maps and railway maps. And you can try and have a go at the exercises. So what do you think about maps? Yeah, it's good, it's quite helpful. It's an important subject because you can use it in everyday life. Use maps without even realising it, for example, on the underground station. It'll be helpful in our future.